Hola, bienvenidos y voy a empezar el análisis de un partido de Cabo Blanca. Hi, this is David Bennett and I'm going to start an analysis of a game from Cabo Blanca. So, voy a tra tratar un video bilingual. I'm going to try a bilingual video. Y vamos a ver cómo es. And we're going to see how it goes. Uh, no sé, tal vez puedo mejorar mi español y tal vez para ti también. Si no estoy hablando perfecto, puedo decirme cómo, cómo mejorar, cómo hablar mejor. So, I mean, I speak perfectly in Spanish. Obviously, my, um, English is my first language. But if you notice anything that I can do better, let me know. And hopefully you could learn along the way as well if you're trying to learn Spanish or English. So, this is the game. It's the Capablanca game. El partido de Capablanca. Y Capablanca es mi jugador favorito. He's my favorite player um, from the late, uh, or, or I think he was born in late 1800s, and he became champion in the early 1900s by beating Lasker. He became the third world champion de, de Cuba. Capablanca de Cuba, el tercer campeón del mundo. Y es un jugador muy fuerte y muy claro en, sus, en su planificación, en, su, en sus planes. He's very clear in his plans. Um, you know, I think basically Capablanca could say to his opponent, hey, here's what I'm going to do, and you can't stop me. No hay secreto. There's no secret. Entonces, él dice lo que va a hacer. Entonces, creo que es muy útil para estudiar sus partidos. Entonces, este es, es el partido. Es en Budapest. De Budapest en 1900. 28, 1928, Budapest, Mereni contra Capablanca, Sicilian defense. Ok, entonces ahora estamos en el endgame, el final del, del partido. Ok, y pensar aquí, ¿qué vas a hacer con las negras? What are you going to do with black? Pero primero tienes que entender lo que está pasando. Es muy importante. It's very important to know what's going on first to analyze the position, break down the imbalances, as Silman talks, talks about. I like this book so much. Me gusta tanto este uh, libro. Entonces, yo tengo otro. Porque mi, mi, mi otro de, tenía mojo. El fue muy, muy viejo. También este. Muy viejo. Este es el, el libro eh, para Capa Blanca. The book of Capa Blanca. It doesn't even have a cover. No hay cubre. Pero... Es muy fuerte. No, mira, es muy es jodido. Es muy, es muy malo. It's like in very bad shape. Uh, Capablanca's Best Chess Endings by Chernev. Very entertaining. Very entertaining book. Muy entrenamiento, algo así. Something like that. Entertaining. And uh, it's very, you know, good read. Really well written and uh, deep analysis. But also you, you know, you, you follow his games if you want from the beginning. You can look at the opening, see how he arrives at the end game. Mira las conexiones. De, de la futura hasta el final del juego from the opening to the end game puedes entender todo lo que pasa ok uh, déjame chequear para que está bien porque tengo que tengo otra versión I think I'm in an old version let me make sure it's good uh, is it streaming is it streaming um, live stream oh maybe I'm not hopefully it's going let's see vamos a chequear Live dashboard, estoy bien. Ok, dice que es live stream health. Dice gray, gris. Ok, es, es verde. Ok, no sé si estaba. Ya, yeah, creo que está bien. Creo que está bien. Ok. Um, y tengo en leeches también. Ok, ya tenemos cuatro minutos. Creo que está bien. Y aquí creo que es más fácil para stream. Like to do streaming first. I think it's good. Um, and then it will go and it'll become a regular video. Oh, this was a different game. And here we are. In Lee Chess, open source. So it's muy bien para analizar. Uh, yeah, it'll become uh, downloadable or you can view it as a, once it processes as a regular video. Okay, entonces vamos a empezar. ¿Qué, está pas ¿Qué estás pasando? What's happening in this position? What are the imbalances? ¿Cuáles son las diferencias entre las negras y las blancas aquí? ¿Cuáles son las ventajas? 
fight all over those, those laws? What are the advantages for both sides? Well, we need to break it down very carefully. So studying Capablanca really teaches you to be so detailed in your analysis. Chess teaches you in general that you have to have very, very close attention to detail in order to succeed. And Capablanca is, is you know, the master of that, of the attention to detail. Precision, my, my dog, mi perro, el quiere jugar. Okay, con, el, con la pelota. Okay, entonces, para que todos lo entiendan en entrenamiento, o, ojalá que sí. Okay, para que aprendemos. Entonces, what are the differences? So, tenemos un rey bien. Los reyes más o menos lo mismo. The, the king's more or less the same. This king is, our king is one step ahead. Their king can't really access the center very well, actually, to get further into the position. If you look at it, si observas, es muy difícil activar así. No puede ir allí, porque el caballo, aquí, tampoco, podemos empujar. Like, we can push, if he comes here. The, the knight controls this. So, actually, en realidad, tal vez, tenemos más oportunidades de activar nuestro rey, y no... El rey de las blancas. De, ¿cómo se llama? De Merigny. Ok. Entonces, ok. Yeah, there's a hint. There's already a hint. I would suggest, there's a suggestion from uh, the computer. But don't pay too much attention to that. Um, but the basic, basically the idea is we know that we have a strong king. We have some more opportunities for him. The knight is very well posted. This rook is a bit off sides. Our rook is well centralized. Y... Siempre, yo digo, la estructura de los peones, pawn structure. I always like to talk about pawn structure porque la, la estructura de los peones es muy, muy importante. Entonces, si miramos aquí, ¿qué está pasando con la estructura? What's happening with the pawn structure? How would you analyze that? Do you notice any deficiencies? Hay, hay una, any weaknesses? Hay unos debilidades en los blancas o las negras. Seguro que sí, para las, para las blancas. Para las negras, no. Para las negras está muy sólido. Very solid for black. Pero las blancas, for white. Where are the weaknesses? E3 in particular. Well, it seems like he has it covered. But still, that's, that is an important feature. That's, it's, an, you know, it's, it's a fragmented structure. How many pawn islands? islands? ¿Cuántas islas? We have one pawn island, two pawn islands, and this is three. Tenemos tres islas. This one, because they can be connected. Now, for white, it's three. For black, uno y dos. Dos para las negras. There's two. Because these, can, these ones can be connected. Podemos conectar así, así. No. Por ejemplo, si no tenemos, tenemos F7, ok, es dos y tres. Pero con F7 están conectados. Ok, bueno, conectado. Entonces, so we're connected. Um, so black is a little more solid. Also, space is very important. Espacio. Controlar de las esquinas. ¿Quién, ¿Quién tiene más esquinas en su control? Clearly, black has more space. Better place knight. This pawn has more central space. We can even push it to e4 anytime we want. Now, as the computer suggests, a5. Now, is there any merit to a5? Well, you might create a weakness on b5, but more importantly, there might be a very important, there might be a very strong idea. Una idea muy fuerte de a5. ¿Por qué? Why is it important? Why do you think a5 might be a good move? Well, we know the knight is strong. Sabemos que el caballo es muy fuerte así, en 6-5. Entonces, queremos que mantener el caballo en una esquina central donde tiene muy, mucha influencia en muchas partes del tablero. He has much influence, a lot of influence across the board, well posted. We call that an advanced support point. Now, not to mention, we, we, we can further encroach on our opponent's position. Podemos... Uh, podemos subir, podemos uh, in, in, tener una invasión poderosa, como Neruda, una invasión poderosa entre la posición de nuestro oponente. Entonces, how, como, how, how do we do it? Okay, so we play A5, yes, that's the start. A5 is the beginning, now we stop B4. No puede jugar así sin perder el, pe el peón. Va a perder. Okay, entonces... Es malo así. Um, oh, and did I post on Twitter? I meant to post it. 
this, uh, para que podamos compartir, porque tenemos aquí open source para que alguien puede accesar. ¿Tengo así? No, no sé. O oh, creo que porque tenía un problema con la conexión. Creo que no, no hice. Uh, participación. Oh, no, ya, ya tengo. Así, el, el, el estudio. Ok, bueno. Entonces, si quieres uh, participar en el estudio, está bien. Bueno. Ok. Good. Entonces, A5, A5. Very strong move. Now, como puedes ver, you can see here. It's very nice. I really am a big advocate for chess books. This Chernev book without a cover, <laughs> as you can see. Um, this beaten up book. It's because I had water damage in my backpack. I think I had like bebidas. I had drinks in my backpack when I was going to a tournament and it got the water damage. So, hey, it's, uh, that's, you know, I have to make it work. But Capablanca's best chess endings. This one is number 44. Ending 45, 44. 44. En fin. Okay. Yeah, me gusta este muchísimo. Es muy claro lo que hace. Y su planificación es perfecto. So, so it's planning, perfect planning, como siempre, always, with Capablanca, or like, like, um, like uh, just a master of planning. So, after a5, um, now you keep the knight there, mantener así, como dijimos, okay, y luego, así. So, white tries to reroute the knight, maybe to come here, of course, looking at the weak squares, como dije. Hay debilidades, sí. Es una concesión. We made, a, we, we, we made a concession when we played a5. We understood that we weakened this. But sometimes you have to make a concession to gain something. Okay? You have to you knowingly make this concession um, with a5. Now, we have to ask ourselves, what is the knight doing b5? ¿Qué hice? ¿Cuál es la importancia del, del caballo así en b5? En b5, así, así, así. ¿Qué puede hacer? No mucho. No, no puede hacer mucho. No, es muy poderosa. Uh, decimos uh, appearance versus reality. Very important in chess. Appearance versus reality. O en todo. Tenemos uh, como parece y como es. How it is. You know, how it looks and how it is. In reality, in chess, we're trying to get at the truth. Now, the truth is, objectively speaking, the knight is not a big deal on b5. We need to understand that. Now, on d5, okay, a little bit more so. A little bit more strong and stronger on d5 than on b5. That's true. Uh, but even there, it can't do too much on d5. Now, most importantly, we've kept our knight here, but why? Again, we want to use this as um, a launch pad, like a stepping stone for access, 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 una esquina muy importante. See? Viste? Did you see that? If you think about where the knight wants to go, not to mention you're already putting pressure on a4, so the rook is tied down. In other words, he has to babysit. We always want to make our opponent's pieces babysit. Para que mirar el bebé. Entonces, mirar el bebé aquí. Y no puede hacer nada. Aquí, okay. Ahora, yeah, now you have to babysit that one. And no puede mover. No tiene movilidad. No mobility. So, muy importante, así. Una, a hole. Tenemos uh, una debilidad. Especialmente después de así. Pero, podemos hacer aquí. Y enforzar, we can reinforce, you know, para enforzar, sí. Y tenemos un pawn chain para conectar todo y entrar con el caballo. Y ahora estamos hablando de todo, atacando muy fuerte. Ok, so, after a5, he goes knight b1. And we shift now. We need to ask ourselves, and let's get rid of that. Ah, it'll stay like that. Okay. Va a quedar. Okay. Tenemos que pedir. Um, okay. ¿Dónde hay las esquinas mejores para todas las piezas? So we ask about this rook. Where's the best square for the rook? The first thing you need to do is to, well, you understand the pawn structure. You understand where the pieces need to go. You put them on the best places. Once the pieces are on the best places, then we're ready for the breakthrough. Después de poner las piezas, en los lugares mejores, luego podemos romper, como la canción, romper, romper, right? romper la posición del oponente. Este es el punto, la invasión, in, 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 you know, intru, intrusión, tenemos uh, in, infiltración, infiltration entre uh, la posición de nuestro oponente. 
S, this is what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to infiltrate the opponent's position. Okay, so is this working? Uh, hopefully the bilingual is working out. I don't know. I, I like speaking Spanish too. I think you can speak con más pasión en español. Es un, es una, es un lenguaje rom romántica, ¿no? Es un romance language. So you can bring in the fire of chess, el fuego de ajedrez, especialmente cuando estamos hablando de, de Capa Blanca, que es mi favorito, mi favorito jugador de ajedrez. Ok, lo es, ok, después, luego, después de uh, caballo, B1, ok, vamos a pedir, ¿dónde podemos poner nuestro torre? Muy importante, tenemos que tener muy fuerte torre, ok, por supuesto, queremos aquí, entonces, movemos así, we move here, so we can control the open line, we say, well, I want my piece on the best place, if he's controlling the open line and white is not, well, he must be superior, you need to have each piece be superior to its counterpart, right? Each one of these pieces, we want to make it better. You'll see that all the time in great endgame players, como Karpov, Capablanca, siempre tienen sus, sus uh, piezas, son mejores, son superior que su oponente. Cada pieza, cada ventaja, añadir, añadir, you add up every little advantage. This is the essence of positional chess. You see that you need to add up every little advantage until you, your, your advantage becomes colossal, and then, then you break through. So we need to build that up. Okay, so after rook to d7, we have knight to d2. As Muyen is very enthusiastic, he says, takes possession of the open file. Black is now a master of the situation. <laughs> Dice el, uh, las negras son, son, es el maestro de la situación. Okay, so now we have knight to d2, and he's, He's going back, so he, you know, he returns. Regresa, entonces, ¿por qué? Well, supongo que reales, reales, he realizes que yeah, no es muy fuerte así. ¿Qué pasaría? What would happen? Por ejemplo, what would happen here? It's very interesting to see. Tal vez caballo bien. Tal vez. Parece bastante fuerte. He seems pretty strong. Um, I think he's got himself in some hot water. After here, tiene problemas, no? No puede defender aquí, ni aquí. Sin, no, sin aquí, no? No va a funcionar. ¿Por qué? Tenemos un tenedor. Como mi, no, mi nombre es el tenedor. Me encantan los tenedores, entonces no puede. Y tal vez así, maybe here. But then I think we're going to infiltrate with the king next, maybe. Doesn't look good. No parece bien. Parece bastante peligroso para permitir. Pero ya, yeah, en todos modos, he's, he puede hacerlo. He's going to do it anyway. I mean, after 92. No, no, not yet. So, creo que es el punto, porque el torre, por ahora, El torre controla con, con, uh, con el rey, controla D3, la esquina D3, entonces no puede tener la invasión todavía, pero tal vez en un poco, en un ratito, ok. So a little bit he might invade, but, but at least by going back to D2, he doesn't obstruct the rook, which, he would, which uh, he would be doing by going to C3. Ok, so after knight to D2, now I'm building up, I'm building up to the good part. Estoy creciendo um, hasta el final. Yo puedo demostrar del final, pero creo que es mejor para ver el proceso. What I'm saying is, I think the process is very important. I could show you the final endgame study, sort of. This is a build-up to that study. Uh, but it's very important. I think, see, you, you, I think there's two ways to study endgames. Hay dos maneras de estudiar los uh, finales del partido. So, one way is... You can uh, just do just do uh, puzzles, you know. Un, una manera solamente estudiar las posiciones, and the other way is you study the sequence of the game. Especially like you take a position, we can study the entire sequence. Look at the connection again throughout the game. This is the second way. I think both are good. This book, this book is very good for um, this the second way. We we tenemos los dos. Tenemos las estudias. Tenemos la, las posiciones como puzzles. Pero también tenemos uh, la, la, el proceso, cuál es tan importante, y Capo Blanca fue maestro del proceso. Ok, entonces, 
después. Y me gustaría jugar en Cuba muchísimo. Ya he visitado, he uh, visitado Cuba. Um, he visitado a Cuba dos veces con mi hermano cuando fue más legal um, uh, con Obama. Like when Obama made it more legal to go to Cuba. Uh, so I visited a couple of times with my brother. It was it was a great country, great people, like fantastico la, la gente muy amable in nature, la naturaleza, increíble. So me gustaría jugar una vez. Tenemos un memorial de Capo Blanco, Capo Blanco Memorial. Un día, tal vez, uh, yeah, después cuando tengo más tiempo, uh, me gustaría jugar. Yeah, I like to play at the tournament, the Capo Blanco Memorial in Cuba. Try to play that if you if you can. It's supposed to be a great tournament. I think there's like two sections. I'm not sure. I have to look into it more. Um, so, después de 92. Okay. Ahora es muy importante. Vamos a continuar. Queremos esta esquina. Queremos. Tenemos que mandar nuestros ideas. We need to demand that we um, insist on our ideas. It's very important. It's part of the initiative. Para para tener la iniciativa, creo, para empujar nuestro oponente, tenemos que decir, sí, vamos a hacerlo. Ok, entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? ¿Cómo vamos a asegurarse que podemos entrar? Seguro que sí. Así, of course. This controls this. Now, again, we need to be careful, because if we come in right away, what happens? Like, ¿Qué pasaría si entramos ahora? Tan temprano, it's too early. Ouch, then nuestro oponente tiene táctico. Va, va a romper nuestra posición. Va a capturar nuestro peón. He's going to take a pawn. Y luego, por supuesto, puede capturar el caballo. So that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work um, to come in immediately. But we're ready, right? Now, it's also very important we fix the pawn. Decimos, no, no vas a mover. Este peón en el 3. No vas a mover. You're not going to move that pawn. Fix it. And then you can, you can target it and win it later. Or just decrease the mobility of your opponent's forces. Vas a decir, ok, no vas a tener mucha um, um, movilidad de, de, de tu rey o de cualquier pieza. Sí, puedes ver. You can see how um, no hay movilidad. Mira aquí, aquí, no. No vas a entrar. He can't enter. So we've already begun to restrict. Again, the pawn structure is just so critical. Good boy. We're already beginning to use the pawn structure to create better pieces. Tenemos la, una conexión íntima, una conexión muy importante entre los peones y las piezas. Es jamás, jamás que vas a decir, ok, que, la pieza no, que la, los peones no son importantes. Siempre son muy importantes. You have to very, never underestimate the pawns. Very important. Okay, you see this pawn is like a linchpin. This pawn is, is, is our hero right now. Without the e4 pawn, nothing would work. We need the e4 pawn. And we need the a5 pawn. So the a5 pawn ensures that he can't attack us. The e4 pawn ensures we can enter. Okay, again, he has the tactics, so we need to play f5, of course. Then we create a nice pawn chain, allowing the knight to invade successfully. And then we're good. And then we're going to work from there. Vamos a trabajar de, de entonces. Pero primero, mejorando, mejorando, and slowly but surely improving the position. This is the essence of positional chess. Now you might say, oh, I don't want to do that. That's boring. Well, you want to attack? Tactics flow from a superior position. You can often get a nice center, squeeze them out. Once you squeeze out your, you squeeze your opponent, you know, like a boa constrictor, then maybe uh, you can swing across the board like the famous Capablanca game, uh, Capablanca versus uh, Treyball. Capablanca contra Treyball de... Un mil nueve, nuevecientos, uh, 1929, con, con la V, with the V that he created with his pawns, again, squeezing them out, and then he was able to do whatever he wanted. So it was the positional chest that led to that attack, swinging between the king side and queen side, because he had the luxury to do so. The center was locked, by the way. Now, very important, e4. Okay, he tries to trade. Quiere cambiar, por supuesto. ¿Por qué tenemos un caballo mejor? Superior, que Elige. Por favor, podemos, podemos jugar un fin de juego de torre? She wants to play a rook hand game, try to draw. I said, no, por su, no way. Por supuesto, no. Okay, but then he says, well, if you're going to get in, I'm going to get in too. Of course, it's better on the sixth rank. You're on your, respectively, on your sixth rank. He's on his fourth. Estás en el, tu sexto, el sexto contra el cuarto. 
the su cuarto y, 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 y tu sexto. Entonces, like, your six versus his four. So, es seguro que sí, el mejor, el mejor set en el sexto. Ok, después de aquí, torre, ah, oh, no, torre, a caballo de tres. Ok, por supuesto, of course he checks, un jaque. Tiene que tratar, he has to try. Ok, uh, make sure we're still good. Ok, it's, it's green, es verde, bueno. Ok, hace de Grace Tim. Oh, muchas gracias, yes. Con Nahuel Alberto Spinetta, muchas gracias. Y yo trato de ser muy uh, comprensivo, like I try to be comprehensive. Y habla, hablas de inglés también, like es, bene, es, es bueno para ti uh, verlo en inglés y español, o solamente español. I'm wondering, like, is it good to see in both languages? I think so. I think it's good, like, if you're trying, like, for example, they have slow news in Spanish, things like that things where it's easier to understand if you're trying to learn another language. So I hope it's good to do in both languages. Uh, y por eso puede beneficiar uh, si eres en Latinoamérica o si es más fácil en español. Okay, I'm más accesible. I see. So more accessible regardless of your language. Um, and of course, we're, st we're looking at a Capablanca game from Cuba de Cuba. Entonces en español creo que es, es normal. Okay, so después de aquí, de jaque, tenemos, por supuesto, rey c5. Y pensar, what, ¿qué vas a hacer? Think what he's going to do. Think about what, what Capablanca would do. What would Capablanca do? Ok, es muy fuerte. Ahora tenemos la, op la opción de, de pen penetrar, de penetrate the position, invade, tener una invasión, invasión poderosa aquí. Este, ok, y tenemos un ataque también en el peón, muy básico. Queremos ganar el peón. We want to win the pawn. Give it to me, right? So después de aquí, ok, ¿qué vas a hacer? Uh, si ¿sí vas a hacer, no, vas a obtener este también. Hay dos ataques. We have two attacks. This is a problem too. So he's forzado. Basically, he's forced. He has to go here para mantener aquí y aquí, you know, to hold the weak spots. But now this might be a weak spot. Tenemos tal vez, un, yeah, sí, tenemos otro debilidad para las para las blancas. Muchos problemas. Es una posición muy problemática para, para las blancas. Very problematic. So you see the invasion here. But this, may, this is possible. But we need, it may not be enough. So you, you want to find the easiest way, the most successful way to break through para romper la posición con más éxito. Okay. So después de B3, tenemos... Okay. Piensa. Pensar así. Okay. They will predict primero. I should ask first, but so you can participate a little bit. And if you can find that page uh, under on leechess.org under El Tenedor, I think if you follow me, it should show or the study. It's the studies leechess.org slash study slash Z E six F O Z Y Q. So I think it's an open source study. Cualquier persona puede participar. You can participate, um, or just through the channel. Um, but if you can go here and chat, it's easy to. Ok, después de F5, ahora he va a regresar. He needs to move the rook back, por supuesto, yeah. Tiene, tiene que mover así para que puede, you know, utilizar su torre. He can't use the rook on A3. So he's trying to reroute the rook successfully. So after rook goes to A1, the rook hastens to get back into play, everything apparently being securely protected. But white is rudely awakened from this sweet dream of peace, he say. Um, las blancas están, um, ¿cómo se dice? Desper despertado, no. Están we woken up, despertado, de este sonido dulce de paz. So he's, sweet, um, he's rudely awakened from the sweet dream of peace. Now it's already a critical position. Ya es una posición crítica, muy importante. Ok, pensar así por un minuto. Así no voy a moverlo. Creo que this is like the main study. Este es el, um, el, la posición principal que tienes que entender que es más instructivo, like the most instructive position. So if nothing else, you just understand this position. Let me check and see if he, if he wrote, uh, I don't know if you wrote anything. Um, let's see. So think about what you can do. Pensar en qué puedes hacer. Qué puedes hacer aquí. Uh, otra vez. Sin... Sin pensar en los movimientos, pensar en las 
ideas. Like think about the ideas, not just the moves. Once you understand the ideas fully, and again, this guy, I think this is very good for this to break down the position. Once you understand the once you understand the positions fully, uh, the imbalances fully between the two sides, then you can make your move. You know, then you think about your candidate moves and you execute your plan. So primero tenemos que entender cuál está pasando. Okay, es muy diferente que antes, no? Es muy diferente aquí antes. Y mira, crece, crece, crece. It's growing, it's growing, improving the position. Now we have a completely different situation, right? We have mucho espacio. Caballo así, el sexto, eh, six rank. Contra ese, eh, okay, está bien, pero el nuestro es más fuerte. Tenemos aquí, enforzado, it's like reinforced. Muy fuerte, mucho mejor. Mira, este es el segundo, nuestro es el cuarto. So he's on it. He made it to his second rank, we made it to our fourth rank. So we're twice, basically the king is twice as advanced. Dos veces más avanzado. Y la torre, okay, tenemos, tenemos presión. Presión es muy importante en la fila. We have pressure on the open file, which is, which is critical. How does that go away? No sé. La línea, okay, está bien. Um, hmm, extraño. You can't make it go away the line, but okay. Anyway, so we know we have a lot of pressure. And again, la debilidad, el peor, like that, es, todavía está allí. Todavía no, eh, no va a salir. It's like it didn't go away, the weakness on e3. And the weakness on b3 exists as well. We have a pawn majority. We have four versus three. And we have two versus three here. But you notice that white's mobility is hampered on the, uh, on the queen side. Mira que en el lado de, de, de dama, la movilidad está rest, restringido, es restricted, porque hay, hay tres contra dos, pero no puede mover tan simple, ¿no? Es porque así está controlado. Ok, no qui quiero remover, no, este, no, no sé, este, no, ok, no queremos todo eso. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to get rid of this, but I, I got carried away now. <laughs> so, anyway, el idea es tenemos que romper la posición. We have to break in. We have to break through. Now, the stuff over here is not enough. Oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Fue muy molestante, ¿no? Fue tanto. Okay. Entonces, esta debilidad no, no, no va a romper. Okay, tal vez... Podemos tratar así, así. No, puede defender. Creo que puede defender. Mover así, tal vez. I think he has enough there. It's the rule of two weaknesses, sort of. Or maybe you could think of it in terms of an asset for yourself that you have or a deficit for your opponent. Tiene algo bueno para ti o malo para tu oponente. Pero dos cosas. Por ejemplo, dos debilidades o un, un asset. You know, one asset, two assets. Una cosa bueno aquí. Otro bueno aquí, o una cosa, una cosa buena para, para, para usted, para ti, aquí, por ejemplo, el caballo y el peón, y, no, y, y una cosa mala para tu oponente, este y este. So we have lots of good things for us, lots of bad things for our opponent, that adds up, and, you know, añadir, añadir, y luego, breakthrough. So, what's the breakthrough? ¿Cuál es el rom ¿Cómo romper? ¿Cómo romper la posición? No sé la palabra para break, pero I don't know breakthrough in Spanish, but romper is like a break. Romper la posición, break, break the position. Storm the barricades, como Larry Christensen, good book actually. I mean, it was a pretty advanced, but it's a, it's a good book. I'd say. I read the, actually I read it probably shortly after I read this one, sometime in high school when I was getting into the, the chess books. Los libros de ajedrez, uh, como este. No sé si tienen español. Ojalá que tienen español este este libro. También uh, como Art of Attack, I'm sure they have that in Spanish, um, in Espanol, art, art of Attack in chess. El Arte de Ataque, el Arte de, uh, el arte de, de Defensa también, de Sof, es fantástico. Really great book, Art of Defense in chess as well. Anyway, how do you break through? Any ideas? Again, it's not really enough. I mean, you could, you can maybe consider, no, you can't get it in, that's the thing. I mean, it would be nice to go G5 and F4. That seems like we're getting somewhere, but then we're kind of just trading off the weakness on E3. On e we, may, we may want to use that to our advantage. Um, and besides, in the second you go here, cuando... Ah, okay. Cuando juegas uh, aquí, hay un debilidad aquí. Puedes capturar. So, 
tendría, tendría que hacer aquí primero, like you'd have to go there first, solamente para defender there, just like just to defend that. Y luego aquí, y luego aquí. Eh. Y tiene jaque. Eh. No es tan claro, like it's not super clear. Um, but the way that Capablanca played was very clear. So, what is it? Do you have an idea? Tienes idea? Que, uh, que hace Capablanca este movimiento? Creo que es un movimiento muy famoso. Es, es uh, espléndido, es fantástico este movimiento. Así. Comer el caballo. ¿Por qué? Let's think about what's the ration, rationale for that. Why? ¿Por qué hace? Think about what you gain. He captures back, you gain a pawn and a knight for a rook, okay? Peón y caballo para torre, más o menos cinco puntos el torre y cuatro puntos para caballo, tres y peón uno. Okay, más o menos igual, tal vez un sacrificio un poco. It's a very small sacrifice to make, pero lo más importante es posicionalmente que ganes. Like, what do you gain positionally? That's the most important thing. So, after he uh, takes back, con jaque, with check. Jaque mate is checkmate. Jaque is check. Um, yeah, there's actually there's some very old words um, that are used. Like, for example, uh, alfil, less from Arabic, actually, which is the word for bishop. There's some old words used in chess. Um, but also, like, and just basic one, like, like dama is lady, basically. You can say reina for queen, but dama is lady. Um, okay, so after e takes d4 check, captura. Por supuesto, captura. No así. Porque uh, no hay problemas. So we don't need that problem. We just take back. Okay. Ahora es la belleza. Es bellísimo. ¿no? Es muy, muy hermosa. Like very beautiful position. Just look at the domination. You've given up the exchange, but you utterly dominate the position. Knight on the sixth. King on the fifth. King's improved even more. Now, this is one of the main points of the position. Uno de los puntos de la posición principales es que el rey está mejorando, mejorando. Estamos usando el rey como un um, luchador, like a fight, a warrior king, right? It shows you the importance of using your king. Which you, if you study end games, you'll see that a lot. The important Karpov, Karpov is noted for that, and Kapov. I would say probably the two best players, in my opinion, to study for end games are Capablanca and Karpov. But if you study just Capablanca games, you will master the, I mean, you should gain a very good mastery of the end game. Si solamente estudias los partidos de Capa Blanca, de los um, finales de juego, debes, ten, debes ser maestro de, de este, este fase, este parte del partido. And, and, and when you improve in the end game, you improve in every part of the game, right? You, cuando mejores tu, tu final de juego, vas a mejorar todo de, de tu ajedrez, because you understand the logic of chess, porque entiendes el lógico de ajedrez mucho más. Okay, este, okay, muy bien, mucha bien, muy hermosa. Uh, rey, captura, y dominación, domination, right? So we have four against two, cuatro contra dos, y, of course, we want this. Queremos empujar. We want to get, well, maybe, you know, get here, check, you know, we're going to, we're going to have an avalanche, yeah? Everything is coming in. Invasión, poderosa. Pablo Neruda, right? A great poem. It's a poem by Pablo Neruda. Um, Cuerpo de Mujer, uh, something like that. I think it's Cuerpo de, it's Cuerpo de Mujer. Um, but he talks about having a, a very metaphorical poem from a, a great Chilean poet. He habla sobre la invasión poderosa. So we can use that in chess as well. I think he's referring to something else. But um, he's referring to a different type of thing, you know, thing in his and out. But hey, you can... You can apply anything to chess. Um, maybe he was thinking of chess as well. So, king takes. Now, in response, what is, let's look at the finish now. But we, we, but it's very important to understand what you gain in compensation. Creo que es compensación para tu sacrificio muy pequeño, pero ganes mucho. Okay, so after king takes d4, now it still goes on for a little more. It goes on for only, no, only seven more moves. Solamente siete Siete más movimientos. Okay, I'm going to just go through that because it's basically a route now. It's just just crush. But you need to see the process. It's very elegant. Of course, as always, es muy, es muy elegante, como siempre, con capa blanca. El maestro. Okay. Después de captura, tenemos aquí. ¿Por qué? Para 
but ahora sí, at least uh, más lento, más lento tu ataque. He wants to slow down your attack because he knows what you want. So it's too late to stop it now, but he knows you want this, right? You want to storm him. He's trying to stop the pawn storm. So maybe appropriate um, given what's coming to the East Coast now, which is a crazy hurricane, uh, huracán. Muy grande que está viniendo. I hope that it's, uh, that, that it's not very dangerous, uh, but it looks scary. Muy, muy asustado. Um, como el, yeah. Muy fuerte. Very strong hurricane coming. So, and I'm in D.C., so estoy en Washington, so uh, tal vez un poco, pero más, parece que más en las Carolinas y tal vez Virginia, pero Washington es muy cerca, solamente un poco más al norte, so just a little more north of Virginia. Like, it's like right in Virginia, basically, slightly inland. So probably Delaware gets hit first if it comes up there, or northern Virginia, but it would get into D.C. very quick. So uh, the whole area could get hit. Muy peligroso, very dangerous. Um, but yeah, it's como, viene como like a flood in, in su posición. So después de G3, tenemos que, queremos, ten, neces, tenemos que decir sí, otra vez, esta es nuestra idea y mi idea va a funcionar, va a trabajar. Um, but my idea is going to work. I need to insist on my idea. This is willpower. This is very important in chess. You need to, you need to be confident and, you know, it's based in reality. But you do need to be confident um, in your ideas and push them on your opponent. Uh, you know, you can't be soft in chess. You have to um, you have to bang it over the head, basically. You say, okay, I'm going to hit your, you know, just keep on going going at it. You can't just be timid, in other words. But you need to be, you have to have conviction, but you gain conviction from deep analysis. Tiene la convicción después de análisis muy profundo. Y luego vas a empujar. So, okay, por supuesto. Queremos que hacer así, entonces preparamos así. Y no puede parar. He can't stop it. Um, dejar de la invasión. So, aquí, G5. Y, ok, la desesperación. Desperation, you know. He's losing. Está perdiendo, entonces la trata. Tiene que tratar. Ok, porque dice, ok, si capturas, yo voy, tengo, voy a hacer aquí. If you take it, I'm going to break through a little bit. So, at least White needs to try. His opponent, his noble opponent, Bereni, he's giving him a good fight which is what led to this masterpiece. You must respect your opponent. Tener mucho respeto para el oponente, porque sin oponente no tienes maestro. <laughs> you know, you're not going to have the masterpiece, maestría, sin tu oponente. Like, they're part of it. They're an integral part. So deeply, I say deeply respect your opponent. Without, without Mereñi, this game doesn't happen. And we don't get to study this. So, yeah, so it's never going to be easy. Never expect it to be easy. It should be a fight. Siempre es una lucha, como la vida. Okay. So after they're like life, I'm saying, you know, like life is always a fight. You know, sometimes there are good times, bad times, but you got to struggle to get there. So chess is a struggle. After F4, now we have C5. He, he tries, yeah. El trata. Okay, respect him, man. Give him some respect. He's trying his best. Um, he's going to make it hard for us. But Capablanca, he says, okay, forget about it. Sometimes there are times you need to restrict your opponent's counterplay. And there are times you need to ram through. I, I veces cuando tienes que restringir su contrajuego y otras veces cuando tiene que empujar y, y decir, okay, voy a tener iniciativa sin party, like without stopping, just initiative. If you understand that your initiative is strong enough, that's when you can avoid defense, pure attack, basically counterattack um, to fight for initiative. But there are times you need to make a prophylactic move, un movimiento prophylactico, y yeah, es importante también. Ok, so después de aquí tenemos F3 con jaque. Seguro que sí. Of course, you are rush, rushing in. Piensa de tu posición como agua. It's like, think of a position as water. It's like Bruce Lee said, be like water, my friends. You should watch the video if you haven't seen it. You know, hiciste de Bruce Lee, uh, sea como agua, mi amigo. Agua en movimiento, entonces, ¿cómo ser objetivo? Como agua. Agua no piensa y no tiene amigo. Sí, no, amigo. Es solamente, solamente es el, la verdad, es la presión, el punto de debilidad. Viene el agua. The water goes to the weak points, you know. Water flows where it can, right? Water will go anywhere it can. So, just be like water. I think like that when I'm playing chess. You can learn from martial arts, too, in chess. De, uh, aprender de la arte marciales uh, para ajedrez, like de luchar, luchar y yo, yo estoy, estaba luchador, lu, estaba luchador uh, libre, lucho libre, like I was a wrestler, 
so they call me the Chesler. Uh, at least someone did. <laughs> but you know, you have to mix it up. I think to mix the physical with the mental is a good mix. Um, because you also need to be strong um, physically to improve your mental stamina and so forth. Like tener la, la, la fuerza de, okay, now I'm off topic, but la fuerza um, de tu fisicalmente para fuerza mental. Um, mental es muy importante, la conexión, creo. Okay, pero sin tópico. Okay, vamos a un poco. Jaque. Y luego hace F, no, F3, uh, F1. Okay. Y luego... ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Qué harías aquí? Like, what would you do here? Continue your plan, of course. But you have to you have to make sure it works. It has to be grounded in reality. It can't just be like, you know, like some conspiracy theorist saying, well, I think that might be the thing. Does this and that? No, you have to like, you have to have reality. I think Chess will teach us this. So, um, so after, like, como la, la, la persona que piensa en los conspiratorios de la mente, no, tiene que tener la verdad. Ajedrez es verdad. Objetivo. A3, ok, es muy fuerte, pero tenemos que calcular. Ok, vamos a ganar. Por ejemplo, like if he takes, ok, voy a poner una línea, like a sideline. I'll do a sideline in a second just to show you this is a critical line. After E3, now he's going to go here. But we need to understand what would happen, ok? It's very, it's a part of, important part of arriving at the truth is knowing sidelines. A sideline is the what if. It's like the counterfactual. But you need to know that you can look at the counterfactual sort of in your game. You look at it's basically looking at all scenarios, kind of like game theory or something. You're looking at all scenarios to arrive at the truth, the closest to the truth that you can, and, and that's your evaluation, right? It's the closest to truth you can arrive, and therefore you you make your move. Um, tenemos la como entender la verdad, nuestra comprensión de la verdad, y luego tenemos un un movimiento. Okay, entonces. Si captura, pero, but we ground it in reality again, in a hard line. Tenemos una línea claro. Por ejemplo, si captura, como gana. Creo que tenemos jaque mate. We're going to get a queen, yeah. Aquí, controlado. Controlamos la uh, esquina negra, esquina blanca. Entonces, aquí, ¿y qué hacemos? Ok, continuamos. No, todavía no. No así. Porque queremos usar los dos. Boom. Y luego, no así. Porque queremos mantener una dama. We're going to keep the queen. We go here. Now, if he pushes again, we can easily stop it. Yeah? Malo. Entonces, only, only try is here. Now, let's not get cute and get a knight. Yeah? Can we get a queen? Let's just, let's not mess around, okay? Let's get a queen. No vamos a hacer. Muy dulce, ¿eh? Vamos con, con la cosa. Vamos a hacer muy claro. Y, ok, ok, tenemos jaque mate, no sé, pero ok, está ganando el pawn, it's winning either way, maybe we have a mate, but I'll take the pawn, um, just to make sure, we probably have a mate there, actually, but whatever, está ganando en todos los modos, like, it's winning no matter what, ok, so, sabemos que es muy fuerte, entonces, él trata este, he tries this, um, so, rook to e1, um, and now Capablanca says, ok, let's take it, ahora dice, ok, voy a capturar, Y si yo sé que tienes algo, puedes hacer este. Puedes capturar, pero no hay problema. No hay problema así. No, no, no hice, no hice. Así. Bam. Y luego así. Y piense que va a correr con este. Pero, o oh, de nuevo, de nuevo, tenemos que calcular muy claro. Like, we need to calculate very clearly again. So, look, we have him in sort of a mating net. He's already in a mating net. I mean, it's going to be hard. He's going to have to go here and here just to get out. So he's basically in a mating net. En una, um, como se dice? No sé. Uh, es un ra... No, 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 no recuerdo el nombre de mating net. I forget how to say mating net in Spanish. But es un área de jaque mate. Es un, un, una, es un cautivo. He's a prisoner. He's, es un, um, yeah, es cautivo. Y, ha, y casi jaque mate. Un área de jaque mate, una zona. Entonces, meeting that. So, you have to think about, okay, do I need to run my knight back and stop? Yeah, you could if you need to, but you still win. Pero más fácil, si podemos ganar con estilo. Let's win in style. How do you do it? Think about it. Can we push the pawn? Calculate if you push the pawn and he pushes the pawn. What's going to happen? Start to calculate that. You get, you get to here, he gets here. You go here, he goes here. You go here. He gets a queen, but you get 
a queen or a rook with mate because he's in the mating net, right? So this this is winning. So Capablanca played here, and he resigned. So he won, he resigned the game because he knows what's coming. Resignar. El dice, okay, gana las negras. So es un, es un uh, partido muy fantástico. Que vamos a ver si, si continúa. Just to see if he played on. You see, there's no way to stop it. I mean, yeah, he can move the king, but again, you start to move the king, you're still going to get a queen first. But that would take you like two moves to avoid the mate. By then, you'd already have the queen, and you get the queen with check. And you could easily stop this queen. Plus, you have a knight. But yeah, you'd have a mate. Yeah, tendría un hockey mate, en todos modos. Por ejemplo, no, no, no puede correr. He can't. There's no running. Like, for example, aquí, okay. Aquí, yeah, toman tanto tiempo. Tenemos a hacer aquí también. Uh, sí. Creo que sí. Jaque así. Um, creo que tenemos. I'm, I'm almost certain we have a checkmate. Así. Se hace más Una, a nice mating net. Check. Oh, seguro. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Is it a mating net both ways? Check, check, check. Let's do this, yeah. I see. Because we have a mate on here. So no matter what, we get the mate. Uh, and now he's completely trapped in here, right? He can't get out. He can't get out there. So he's in, he's stuck. No way out. And the knight, the knight bottles him in. Completamente embotamiento. Like he's like a traffic jam. He's in bottle or something. He's stuck in a bottle. Here, okay, we can still run to here, but now we still get our mate. Because we get check. Uh, here, and then we have another check anywhere we want on the second rank. And of course, where's the mate? Right in front of the pawn. Pawn defends the queen. He's stuck. So, yeah, again, like this is the way to win the style. Como ganar con estilo, pero yeah, it's not necessary. No es necesario. En cualquier modo, you know, you can stop the pawn with your knight if you need to. That's the, that's the benefit of having the extra knight. But after here, yeah, he just resigns. So, yeah, it looks like. Okay, it's live, it's still good, and yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Ojalá que fue útil, fue, fue ayudarte, y un, para un este, honor para Capo Blanca, like to honor Capo Blanca, para pensar en su maestría, like the mastery de Capo Blanca, y si podemos de Capo Blanca, creo que podemos ser muy fuerte en ajedrez, like I think we, we could become much stronger in chess by, by learning from Capablanca. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Buenas noches. Have a good night or good morning or wherever you are. And thanks for watching.